And so I want to do a video on the, the mental illness and mental sickness of people involved in contract stocking. And this started, this is something that's really going to blow people's minds. Okay, so back, this was a few years ago. This was like a few years ago. I was doing some research on communism in America. And I came across a record called Illuminati um, done by Myron Fagan. And Myron Fagan did the album back, I think, in like 1966 or 65 or something. And it's a really good album. My, Myron, Myron, uh, Myron Fagan. Myron Fagan. Um, that's his name. Myron Fagan uh, Illuminati record. And so I was researching communism. And back in the 60s, Myron Fagan in his Illuminati record, he was speaking about how in America they're using different races against each other and all this stuff. And he was speaking about how in communism, um, as the communists had a slogan called the new man and the new woman, he was saying that the communists in America were using different races. Like they were trying to, they were trying to mix uh, black men and white women together or black women and white men together through, through communist ideology. And so I was doing re I was doing research on, I was actually doing research on race mixing and I was presenting my research online. Like I had a big thing about it where I was talking to people about it, interviewing people. It was pretty interesting. It was social engineering research basically. And when I was actually going through the contract stocking stuff, there's something called the mimic effect where they hire individuals just based on their makeup, how they look. So they were purposely hiring white women and black men to follow me around based on interracial research. And this was like really sick because they were doing interracial porn themes in the research. And it was all about like white women having black children or something like that. And they were mixing up. So they were like hiring white girls to only drive around with black guys and hiring black women to only drive around with white guys. And so for somebody who's never even heard of, of psychological harassment or gang stalking, it, it's going to sound crazy, you know, but this is something that's done by the people who create like the themes and like street theater and all this stuff. And they were hiring, like there was one time they took a bunch of black baby dolls, like little baby dolls, and just threw them in the street before I was walking down the street. So I see them when I would come across them. And I still have the video somewhere of it. And they were like, it was like friends of mine. Like there was one girl, they were trying to hire her to follow me around with black guys. And all these guys, I, like a lot of these guys from the Heights I knew, and I was sitting there talking to them about it. And they were saying, man, that's weird, man. They're, they're trying to get, the, you're talking to this girl, and they're trying to get her to ride in the car. And I was saying, yeah, they're, I was saying, yeah, I think they're informants too, like, because <clears throat> they're listening to everybody's phone calls and all this stuff. And I was sitting there talking to them about it. And, like, even the community watch groups were using their neighbor's wives to, like, show, you know, like, show their asses and stuff like that. And this was a, this was going on in different areas. Like I want to explain to people something. This was going on in multiple different areas of Muskegon. Like I would go hang out in a whole different neighborhood, and people and I would start hanging out in the neighborhood for like two weeks, and people would come into the neighborhood and start paying individuals to participate in it. But the whole routine of the exit entries and doing all this stuff was based off the concept of interracial porn race mixes. <laughs> I'm serious, like. They would have a white girl driving a car, then they would have a black guy follow behind the white girl to like mimic sex, like having sex, like doggy style and stuff. And it, it's done through how they set up the um, how they set up the protocol of how the people rotate, and move around. And I got man, I, I think I got like a lot of emails from people. I was speaking about this a while back, and some of the people actually got what I was saying, but other people didn't get it, and. That's why I'd be like, you know, like I'd be over in some neighborhoods and I'd be like, why would a heroin addict or why would somebody with less mental capacity or less mental comprehension than me be able to follow me around? And I, that's what I'd be thinking. Like a lot of these people, like, like a lot of the people, doesn't matter what color they are, what race they are, a lot of these people can barely even read. 
I can tell by looking at them, they, their educational level, you know, by the way they talk and the way they act, their educational level isn't what it should be for somebody to be surveillance and somebody or following somebody around. So, you know, that's one of the things I came across. It's sick too, man. The interracial porn stuff was really sick because some of my friends were saying, man, we, we, you were on YouTube and all this stuff, and they were telling us you were crazy and you were perfect and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, if all that's true, why are they using women? Why are they using all this weird street theater, like, like weird themes through street theater, mimicking people's daughters and wives doing interracial porn and, 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 and uh, people on drugs and all this stuff? Like, why all that? And then why aren't the people on probation, on parole, and the people with the warrants, and the people outside, why aren't they being followed around? You know? So, 